Playgrounds are a great place for children to have fun, encounter risks, and overcome fears. Thanks to more stringent state laws, the playscapes of today are a world apart from those of decades past. Safer and more educational, today's parks are filled with mini monkey bars, padded swings, and rubber bumpers. There are still a few playgrounds out there, however, that refuse to bow to societal pressures. So let's explore the top 10 most dangerous kids' playgrounds. Number 10, Trinity Play Park. Take a look at this legitimate photograph from the 1910s. Back before the two world wars, it seemed children were a lot tougher than today. The ladders were big enough for firefighters, the parallel bars and swings are many meters above the ground, and children in the photograph are casually sitting atop and hanging from the high metal bars. By modern standards, this equipment is incredibly unsafe. A single slip and a child could easily break their neck. According to the city's listing of municipal parks and historical records, Trinity Play Park is no longer in existence but in its place today is Fred's Park, which looks a lot safer. It's similar to Seattle's Hiawatha Playground. Created to provide additional recreational space for children after World War II, this climbing-focused park first opened in 1958. Made from nothing but steel and wrought iron, this playground once featured soaring climbing trees more than a story tall. Even parents would feel their stomach fill with dread if they fell from one of the steel crossbeams, hanging rings, or adult-sized ladders. With nothing but concrete to break a child's fall, this playground was the site of many cracked skulls and broken ankles. But thanks to pushes for safer playgrounds, this aerial park was transformed into something much tamer. Number 9. The Hand-Built Water Slide while you won't find water slides at most county parks, it's hard to argue that they aren't meant for children. Though when you think about it, they can be very dangerous, even without throwing any crazy whirls or loop-de-loops into the mix. But even more dangerous is when you add a launching platform and a gap into the mix, like this one filmed in a forest somewhere. While I'm unable to uncover the name or location of this slide, it's definitely not something most people would ride. Constructed from wood and garbage bags, this handmade water slide sends riders hurtling down a steep incline flying through the air and onto the slide's back half a few yards away. The only thing softening the landing, should you come up short, are a series of foam mats knocked off center by hundreds of terrified riders. I'm all for bringing some risk back into kids' lives, but this might be a little too much. Speaking of dangerous water slides, here's one located on top of a mall in Bangkok, Thailand. It features a variety of thrill-inducing water slides. While many of them are safe enough, there's one that'll make your heart skip a beat. This gargantuan slide sends riders hurtling off the mall's roof with nothing in the way of supports or guardrails. Though it hasn't happened, if you somehow carry too much speed, you could potentially plummet hundreds of feet to the concrete below. That said, with their balls of steel weighing them down, I think riders are unlikely to fly over the side. Number 8. Cement Land, St. Louis, Missouri for years, an abandoned cement factory on the outskirts of St. Louis served as the city's dumping grounds. Countless tons of rock, scrap metal, and freshly excavated dirt were piled up next to old factory silos, rusted cement trucks, and decrepit mixing equipment. But where others saw a trash heap, Bob Cassily saw an amusement park. To be fair, his eye for the strange led to the creation of the City Museum, one of Seattle's most popular attractions. For a decade, the sculptor worked to turn the industrial wasteland into a castle-themed family attraction. Using the material left behind, he built a castle, countless moats, and numerous sculptures. Hunkered like industrial gargoyles, many of the factory's components remain untouched. In 2011, however, the park's creator was found dead on site. At first, cops thought his death was the result of a bulldozer accident. Further investigation, however, revealed that he had been beaten to death. After Cassily's untimely demise, the project was abandoned. The theme park to be has now become a haven for graffiti artists, parkour runners, and delinquents. Rumor has it that a few of them have later disappeared while wandering cement land. Seemingly unperturbed by the particularly vengeful ghost, Cassily's widow kickstarted efforts to finish the park in early 2016. Number 7. Barricaded Slide, Poland Many of today's slides are gentle slopes of brightly colored plastic. This not only stops your special snowflake from getting burned on sunny days, but also makes sure they don't tumble off and literally break a leg. But there's a slide in Poland built before parents were concerned about such things. Constructed from what seems to be aluminum, this slide features four hills and a steep downward incline. Its poor design means that most riders end up bouncing down the slide or flying off its edge. 
Knowing how dangerous it was, authorities boarded it up, but that didn't stop some people from trying to ride it. In a video that took the internet by storm, you can watch as the slide sends a grown man flying through the air and crashing in a disjointed heap at the bottom. While certainly not the only dangerous slide in the world, this one is definitely in the running. I like to think the award for the most dangerous slide may go to either one of the ones coming up. This one is located in the USA, which when wet, clearly turns its riders into living pinballs as they rocket down an enclosed aluminum chute. The second one is also perfectly safe until you add some water on it. With just a bit of rain, it turns riders into lethal projectiles that have to land ski many meters to stop. Or this crazy slide I'd call the suicide. Clear Clearly it's meant to teach kids how to act fast, or someone hacked one of the pieces off of it, just don't go down head first. Number 6. Centrifury Merry-go-rounds used to be a mainstay of American playgrounds. Many of us have fond memories of working with our friends to spin it as fast as we could. Kids flew off, people tripped, but most of us had a blast stirring up the butterflies in our bellies. Nevertheless, many parks have decided to forego these playground mainstays in favor of safer, less nauseating options. Others, however, have taken Taking the concept to the extreme. Developed as an entry to a contest hosted by Red Bull, this thing called the Centrifury is half game and half merry-go-round on steroids. Riders hold down a button in the center to start the machine. As time goes on, the machine begins to spin faster and faster. It only stops when someone gives up and takes their hand off the accelerator. Particularly stubborn riders can experience forces in excess of 4 Gs. While it won't be flinging anyone off thanks to its seat belts, the Centrifury is definitely dangerous enough to earn a spot on this list. It reminds me of the centrifuge astronauts have to endure spinning inside of in order to train for the high Gs experience during space travel. Before I reveal the next example, you should subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. We upload fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Number 5. Grand Canyon Swing Glenwood Caverns Just looking over a canyon's edge is enough to send some people into hysterics. Now imagine swinging over one in a contraption of plastic and steel. If you ever visit Glenwood Caverns, you won't have to imagine it for long. Advertised as America's only mountaintop theme park, Glenwood offers visitors cave tours, a cliff-bound roller coaster, a haunted mine drop, and an adrenaline-pumping zip line. Its star attraction, however, is its giant canyon swing. This cardi Cardiac arrest inducing thrill ride shoots up to four riders out over the Glenwood Canyon at an elevation of more than 1,300 feet. Luckily for the faint of heart, this 50 mile per hour thrill ride is over in just 54 seconds. You only need to watch a few seconds of the ride in action to see what earned it a spot on this list. Number 4. Meters Alpine Coaster Modern roller coasters are the result of thousands of hours of tweaking, engineering, and rigorous testing. Each and every turn has been carefully designed to prevent bumps and spills. Alpine roller coasters, however, are relics of an age where such attention to detail was optional. They often curve their way down cliff sides, across old railroad tracks, and weave dangerously through untamed woodlands. In that sense, Meter's Alpine Coaster is the creme de la creme of backyard coasters. Reaching speeds of 42 kilometers per hour, this coaster gives riders control control of the brakes as they rocket through more than 40 hairpin turns. As seen in the following clip, this can have some devastating side effects. Luckily for the rest of us, not everyone is as big a jerk as the guy in that video. But to ensure this doesn't happen to you, make sure you don't go too slowly. Number 3. Tiver, Russia Let's play word association. If I say scrapyard, what immediately comes to mind? Many of you probably pictured rabid junkyard dogs, bulldozers, and hydraulic presses strong enough to turn cars to mincemeat. But someone in Tiver, Russia took one look at a pile of scrap metal and decided it'd be the perfect material for a playground. Covered in rust, this playground is a perfect breeding ground for tetanus and lockjaw. Included in its attractions are a strange contraption that looks like a cross between a medieval torture device and a barber's chair, a swinging tractor tire held up by a rusty spring, and a spinning tire rim covered in what just might be lead-based paint. Number 2. Bag Jump Activity Center, Estonia Stuntmen and women are pretty well acquainted with the whoomph of an airbag. Explosions and car crashes often end with them jumping into them from 40 to 50 feet in the 
the air. Most people, however, wouldn't let their toddler play on one. But at the Bag Jump Activity Center in Tallinn, Estonia, that's exactly what kids get to do. Once overlooking a shipyard, this thrill park features multiple bag jumps, a slide, and a few oversized trampolines. The main attraction, however, was an anxiety-inducing jump from a crane platform suspended 52 meters in the air. We're all four kids taking a few risks, but this one might be pushing it. The most impressive trick performed here was by Daniel Mazel, who hung from his toes upside down and then dropped into the bag jump with a double front flip from 52 meters or 171 feet, which is a free fall of four seconds. Number one, the greater slide. Now for what looks like the craziest and definitely most dangerous ride ever envisioned, but it comes with a smart and well thought out backstory. So let me explain. Epidermolysis bullosa, commonly called EB, is a rare genetic disorder that affects the body's connective tissues. Children with this disorder have abnormally fragile skin that peels or blisters at the slightest touch. Due to their fragility, those afflicted with EB have become known as the butterfly children. To help bring awareness to this disease, Low GGK, an advertising agency based out of Austria, created a series of images. One of these, which combines a slide with a cheese grater, perfectly illustrates the struggles faced by someone with the deadly disorder. Looking like something out of a PG version of the Saw movies, this slide would be a quick and easy way to eliminate your love handles. While I'm hoping no one was dumb enough to let their kids take a ride, I wouldn't put it past them. So which piece of playground equipment shocked you the most? Have you ever been the victim of a poorly designed swing or monkey bar? Or do you think we should go back to the old days of introducing more risk in our children's lives? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.